I talk about these permaculture people again out of Dalesford. It's this fellow who calls himself artist as family. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, they're friends of mine. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Well, I mean, so, you know, they walk you around the garden and, you know, they'll talk about how it came about. And, you know, at first they were like, yeah, we'll, we'll have all native plants, native foods. Mm. You know, we'll have all, you know, bush tuck and stuff. And that, that's how they're, they're sort of, you know, honouring Indigenous knowledge that way. And, and then they just, after a while, they realised, oh, no, that's not it. You know, it, it's not about that. It's about the relationships and knowledge and processes that you form. So, you know, they went more into the process and understanding the landscape and, you know, how to have plants that would have a high enough yield to support life Mm -hmm. uh, on a very small block of land, Um, you know, which generally your native are not going to do that, Uh, particularly in the state they're in now when, you know, those plants haven't been tended and country hasn't been cared for for a long time in, in the right way. You're not going to get a high yield from native plants off a, off a small block of land. You're going to have to do a lot of walking to, <laughs> to get enough to do that. So, you know, so they're going more with those processes and, and sort of hybridizing, creolizing, you know, and, and moving with the place, mm-hmm. you know, understanding that sort of uh, emu dreaming of that place um, there where they are, but not really talking about it or, you know, speaking for it like they know something but more just about being in it and being with it and, res- and being responsive to it and um allowing the place to change them and you can see that really really starkly in how they work so fully yeah 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 and, and this that's the difference between doing your um you know grabbing your your bits and pieces of indigenous content or plants or songs or practices or whatever Fully. And actually moving more towards uh, process. Yeah, yeah. Understanding of places and systems. And yeah, yeah. And how be- you move within them, but more, most importantly, you know, our culture is an adaptive culture. You know, of changing, you know, you have to change within the context, and that's what that's what makes us a long-lived culture. It's not, you know, just staying static and having exactly the same culture for hundred thousand years or something. You know, it's about adapting and moving constantly. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, they are be beautiful, beautiful what they're up to. We, I'm part of making this film about reading landscape or listening to country, and um, we got a bit of footage of their son Woody, and he's amazing. Lovely. You know, unschooled and just, just, just so enthusiastic, showing you how you grab plantain for your cut and and how he catching rabbits or in, with his hands and all, all the, you know all that stuff and, and showing us the wares they're making yeah 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 they're doing yeah. some awesome and that's, stuff I mean, it's, a, it's a it's a it's a good way of life my wife and i last night we were saying well it's it's what we'd love to be able to do that but we can't do that <laughs> so i mean you know an aboriginal person can't open carry a huge pocket knife on their belt and walk down the street without shoes with their kids because you won't have those kids for long if you do that. Right, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, and, and you're, you're definitely getting arrested. You're definitely getting a fine and you're probably losing your kids. So um, we were looking with, with envy. Hmm. <laughs> These people who just get to walk down the street, no shoes, big knife, you know. Like, it's like, yeah, I tell you, well, you know, we'd all like to be homeschooled that way. That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, fully. <laughs> uh, 